Hello everybody all around the world, wherever you may be. I hope you're well um, and you enjoy um, your time wherever you are. Uh, today, I uh, just wanted to uh, have a dedicated uh, time of prayer for you and your loved ones and uh, all of us together you know, for our situations, for our country and for, for our own personal conditions. But before I do this, I wanted to just make people aware that uh, if you're watching this video on trulymajestic.com, uh, this is not our dedicated ministry channel. To find our ministry channel, uh, to be honest, it's very difficult to find it directly on YouTube. You have to go through our website, which is up here uh, at jesusministries.co.uk. Uh, and when you go there on the top uh, bar, you will see the icon of YouTube there. Uh, and, and when you click on that, you can go directly to our ministries uh, YouTube channel. Uh, other than that, it's very, very hard to say the least to find it because our YouTube, our ministry's YouTube channel is struck down by God. And so we are hoping that you and, and people like you will um, join us again and try and help us basically to uh, rebuild that again, that channel by going there and subscribing and, and sharing it. Having said that, uh, a number of you have directly emailed me, asked for prayers, either by just emailing or sending messages via our Facebook uh, page. And uh, I would like to ask you, first of all, if, if you are sending a message through Facebook please if you can uh, write your name uh, don't come as a guest and uh, maybe sign up or you know uh, just say your name at the end uh, we know most of you uh, by names and um, we read all the comments we might not answer all the comments we won't, because we won't be able to answer all the comments on our videos but we read all the comments and we know you almost um, all of you by names uh, we don't know your faces obviously but we know the ID at, at least the ID names that you put on there and uh, so we appreciate all that I, I appreciate you um, welcoming me into your homes by turning this video on and listening to the messages that I bring to you. I appreciate that and I appreciate your support. Another thing I wanted to say is that um, uh, we will never ever ask uh, for money. So if anybody else on the our name is asking you for any monetary support, it's not us. We won't do that. Of course, we uh, welcome any gifts, but we won't go out of our ways to just make videos or emails or messages to send to people to, to ask uh, for financial uh, support. We will never do that. And we've never done that. So that is clear. Back to our own uh, session for prayer um, I wanted to start with this question if you've been fearful of anything at any point in your life if you've dreaded something to the point of death um, if you've been anguished so much that is consuming your life I want you to remember that Jesus felt the same. Mark 14 verse 35 says, 
that Jesus fell to the ground. Matthew 26 verses 37 to 38 tells us that he felt very sad and troubled to the point of death. Luke chapter 22 verse 44 tells us that he was full of pain. Are you full of pain? Are you sad and troubled to the point of death? Are you worried? Are you more than worried, fearful of your life, of your own situation, of uh, the, the, the circumstances in your life, or fearful of what's going to happen in the world? You know, they say death is the big brother of fear. Have no fear. There are estimates that in the Bible itself there are about 365 or 366 times uh, that fear not is mentioned in the Bible. Now I haven't counted that but I, I'm sure uh, it's, it's uh, overwhelmingly mentioned uh, throughout the Bible and I know quite a lot of them that I, I can remember. Uh, fear not or do not be afraid. Do not fear. That just indicates that how much it is important for us not to fear. Fear of anything. We talked about shadow of death. Uh, we walked through the valley of the shadow of death and, and we said that in the end it's a shadow it's not the real death and even then his staff and his rod is with us he guides us he leads us and we should not fear and again at the end of the day we only have one death we will not see the second death those who will see the second death they have to be fearful and they have to be worried Do not fear. Whatever your circumstances, whatever your pain, whatever your troubles are, I am not saying that. The Word of God says, do not fear, for I am with you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. I am your God, and you are mine. He has called you by name. He knows you. He knows you, James. He knows you, Suzanne. He knows you, uh, John. He knows you, George. He knows you. He knows me. He knows everybody. And he's very, very close to us. Very close. He's not out there uh, somewhere far off in the sky or in heavens. He cannot be reached, he cannot hear us, but he is very close to us, closer than our veins to our bodies, closer than the apple of our eyes to us. He hears us, he might not answer us the way we expect or want, but he answers all prayers. He hears us especially because we have been made righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. And so he does listen to his children and he wants us to know that he listens to his children. And Joseph, Mary, I want you to know that God knows you by name. He knew you before you were knitted in your mother's womb. 
think about that he knew you before we were even knitted in our mother's wombs so he cares for you and us all his children and he knows about our needs we don't need to shout we don't need to scream we don't need to use big uh, words to impress him he says Jesus says go to your room lock the door and pray and before you ask your Heavenly Father um, he knows what you want or what you need but we are told to ask verbalize things not just to think about them verbalize them the Bible teaches us that we have to write down our vision so we can see in black and white so we can remember so we can see it and prophesy to it now prophecy is another thing I, I will make a video about prophecy and uh, talk about that because there's a lot of uh, mystical ideas that people have about prophecy and what a prophet should do or should look like or should sound like and so I have to make that clear to people because they don't I think majority of the uh, members of the body of Christ are unaware of what that is and uh, if they can have access to it or not so I will make a, a different separate video about that but just going back to what we were saying uh, you have to write down your vision don't write down your troubles leave them to God submit your troubles to God but write down your dreams your God dreams not your small little dreams that are made out of that are created out of your own selfish desires godly dreams big dreams write them down the dreams that you've always wanted to the desires that you've always wanted to have the, the dreams that you've always dreamt in your inner being in, in your deep thoughts deep and at the, in the depth of your heart in the depth of your heart you've always wanted those things but you've always probably thought impossible but what is impossible for you is possible for God even if it is your uh, healing that you need the healing that you need for yourself or for your loved ones if it is a deliverance that you need for yourself or your loved ones if it's just a salvation that you need for you uh, or your loved ones salvation is a gift it's there for you to receive and you can receive it by faith Let me pray for you heavenly father we come before your throne in the spirit to the holy of holies wash us with the blood of jesus christ cleanse us cleanse me cleanse me and my tongue by the blood of jesus christ and wash me from the crown of my head to the tip of my toes inside out with the blood of Jesus Christ fill us with your Holy Spirit fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit let everything we do and everything we say be a manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit in us heal us from any sickness any diseases any ailment Give us strength, touch us, strengthen us. Set a hedge of protection over us and ours, our family members. We have the promise of our families, O oh Lord. We pray that you give them wisdom, give our loved ones the wisdom 
to receive salvation by faith, your salvation. Let them have the wisdom to understand the salvation, to understand the gift of God through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the only ultimate sacrifice for the mankind and receive that gladly with all their minds and hearts and souls and be saved. Protect us from all evil, all evil that's happening in the world, all evil and evildoers. Protect us from the, all the schemes of Satan and all the vials of Satan, no matter what they may be. Let no weapon formed against us ever prosper, be it spiritual or physical. Cleanse us from any kind of sickness, O oh Lord, heal us, heal our physical body from any sickness, from any kind of impurity. If we've received any impurity in our bodies through our own follies, through our own mistakes, or by any means, spiritual or physical, cleanse us from them all and deliver us from them all. Deliver us from the suppression of Satan. Deliver us from any kind of spiritual oppression. We as your children cannot be possessed by any evil spirits because we are filled with the Holy Spirit. We're already possessed by you. We belong to you and your body. But if there are any afflictions, O oh Lord, from the devil, on any of your children, O oh Lord, deliver them from the afflictions of Satan. Deliver us all from any afflictions that may have come from Satan. Protect us from any diabolical things that may come from Satan. Give us wisdom, O oh Lord, heavenly wisdom and earthly wisdom. Let us know what is right, what is of you, what is of the devil. Let us have the discernment of the spirits. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, and and bring up, O oh Lord, to the powers, to the um, ruling governments of the world, godly and just people. And let them use their powers, use their positions to lay down godly rules and remove any evil rules that have been laid there, that have been put down there for decades or recently. Remove all the ungodly and unjust from their power. Bring them down in Jesus' name, O oh Lord. We come against all the principalities and rulers and powers in the heavenly realms and on earthly realms and we command them to be brought down by the people, by their own people and godly and just rulers to come up from amongst the people and replace those evil ones. And Heavenly Father, give those godly people the wisdom, the power, the strength and the means to bring about godly rules and laws and do away with all the evil laws and rules in the land. Heavenly Father, I pray for anyone under the sound of my voice. If they have any physical needs, let their needs to be met. Meet their needs. Meet their needs, uh, be it spiritual, physical, or financial. 
fill them with your Holy Spirit anoint them with your Holy Spirit and let them receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and manifest the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit in their lives and let all people around them see the changes happening in their lives heal their wounds emotional physical spiritual financial wounds and heal their bodies from any kind of ailment from any kind of disease and sicknesses I command the sicknesses and diseases to get out of your bodies in Jesus name out into the bottom of the oceans bound there forever never ever to return in Jesus name with the power of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus Christ that command any evil spirits out of your bodies into the body of wild beasts bound there forever and never to return in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah thank you Lord thank you for uh, people you've sent to view this video because this video is made for those people and you have put the right words in my mouth to say to those people thank you for enabling me to do this and thank you for enabling them to watch uh, this uh, video may God bless you and be with you and fill you afresh with the Holy Spirit and let his Holy Spirit rest and abide with you forever in Jesus name till another video and another message it's goodbye for me.